Now the wombat is a real wombat at some point in your life. She definitely was. She had been discovered in Canberra as a sweet little wombat, but she'd been badly injured by dogs. So she was rescued by Waz and they sewed her up again and she was this round, sweet little wombat, so they called her Mossball. And she had just learned that humans give you carrots and if you do not get carrots, you show your displeasure. She was never a lovely wombat. She was never sweet and cute. And we do have a lot of really, really sweet, cute wombats, but you have to admire someone who is so completely and utterly single-minded. And that really is what the book and the play is about. It's about two species who will never, ever understand each other. Your literary output is extraordinary. This is one of your most successful. Did you expect that the, no, you know, what is, no. a lovely, what, what is a lovely book, but no. a picture book? No. Did you expect this would be it? No. Um, it came out at a time when people said, no, you do not anthropomorphise animals. Um, picture books about animals that keep diaries, um, you do not do. It broke every rule, and not only that, how do you do a picture book about a brown wombat in a black night? More to the point, how do you bring a picture book about a brown wombat in a black night to the stage. I sat down with the team from Monkey Bar who managed to do just that. It's a picture book that takes five minutes at bedtime, but you do an hour, you get an hour of theatre out of it. How, how do you do that? It actually took a long time. We really took page by page and said, what is, what is Bruce Watley saying here with his pictures? Because his storytelling is as important as Jackie's words. One thing that I thought of very, very early on was that the show would not have any dialogue in it. Right. So we had to make it visual and it still had to really tell a story. And the other thing that we talked very, very early on was to have the voice of Mothball um, voiced by a cello. So the whole show has the cello live. Uh, and that cello depicts all of her inner workings, her when she's cranky, when she's got a scratch, when she's deciding to do something. At times in the show there are three people working on the one puppet and so you have to coordinate every single move, not just with the puppet but with their bodies as well. It was really important for her to be a, a wild animal, that it, wa it wasn't like a cartoon character or, you know, it, was, it wasn't human-like, that she was representing a wild wombat. So this is Mothball. This is Mothball, yes. <laughs> Hello Mothball, how are you? Now, Mothball's a bit more aggressive than that, wasn't she? Mo Mothball Didn't is, really take you've got her on a good day got today. Got her on a good day Got her on a good day. What, what's inside there? What's your hand on Inside there? her head is a um, two pieces of string, so one I can operate the mouth with underneath, yeah. under here. Oh. Um, and the other one is a pulley string that allows me to open and close her eyes. Can I have a go? You certainly can. Is it that um, sort of movement? You just want to make her a little bit more um, alive. <laughs> um, and you can also move the ears. I feel like, it's like, whoa! It's more like a unicorn wombat. <laughs> and so you can feel this oh, button yeah. here. Oh, OK. And the one <laughs> nom, 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 nom. OK, I'm bored with this interview now. Have you got any more interesting questions? Like a true diva, Mothball is currently on tour. She's travelling around the country, strutting her stuff for her young fans. It's amazing and it looks like a real wombat. Yeah. The little one looks like the real wombat. Yeah. But yeah. the big one was very naughty. There's a yeah. big responsibility to young people because they know Mothball so well. So we have a huge responsibility to them to make sure that she is the mothball that they know. They get it right? Is that mothball on the stage? Yes, and that was actually quite peculiar. I loved her very, very much indeed. And she comes to life on the stage. Monkey Bar Theatre Company is touring Diary of a Wombat nationally until November. Visit the website for details. <laughs>